Mike, thank you. The six-week trial, estimated six-week trial of Gillian Maxwell began today in New York City with opening arguments in this much-awaited federal sex trafficking case starting this afternoon. Maxwell has been in jail now for more than a year, accused of recruiting underage girls for the late Jeffrey Epstein to sexually assault. Investigative reporter Terry Parker is live for us outside the federal courthouse in Manhattan with the jury issues that were addressed today and what we can expect to hear in the coming days. Terry. Right, this trial playing out here in New York City, but we learned that the government's case begins in Palm Beach, Florida. It is there they say that Ghislaine Maxwell preyed upon vulnerable young girls, serving them up for sexual abuse by Jeffrey Epstein. Maxwell's attorneys say that Maxwell is being used as a scapegoat for Epstein and that the victim's memories of her alleged involvement don't reflect the truth. The prosecutors started opening statements by saying, let me tell you a story about a young girl named Jane. Describing a 14 year old, they say Jeffrey Epstein and Ghislaine Maxwell met at an arts camp in the late 1990s and befriended before bringing her to Epstein's Palm Beach mansion and talking her into giving Epstein massages, a code they say for sex. They say they will show Maxwell normalized abuse of sexual conduct, not only for Jane, but for other teen victims. And how will they prove it? Prosecutors say they plan to bring in four victims who will tell their painful and embarrassing stories of sexual abuse by a wealthy middle-aged man and his best friend Maxwell that they claim went on for a decade. They say Maxwell was often in the room when the abuse occurred and sometimes took part herself and that she provided respectable cover for Epstein while procuring victims. During this opening, Maxwell listened blank faced even when the prosecutor turned and pointed at her. Maxwell's attorneys told jurors the government is trying to make Maxwell take the blame for Epstein's bad acts, that she too was manipulated by the powerful Epstein, and she was no more than an employee who ran his multiple estates. She says Epstein's crimes happened 15 to 25 years ago and memories fade over time. And she says the victims have been contaminated by outside information and by civil attorneys who saw Epstein and Maxwell as easy targets for lawsuits and big money. And prosecutors say they plan to bring in evidence like flight logs from Jeffrey Epstein's private plane, his pilots as witnesses, other witnesses and other documents. They say will show that Ghislaine Maxwell was there all along orchestrating every move. But Maxwell's attorneys say they don't think the state is going, the government is going to be able to overcome the jurors reasonable doubt. They did get a late start this uh, morning because of two jurors having conflicts that's been resolved and in fact that first witness, that young, once 14-year-old Jane, took the stand late this afternoon. We will have more on that live starting tomorrow morning. Live from New York, I'm Terry Parker, WPBF 25 News.